folks so we are here to discuss about prehistoric revolutionary finding which is carbon nanotubes which just hit the news very recently and has made headlines so let's get to know what is a carbon nanotube from different perspectives ancient people's lifestyle and creation always remains challenge to the modern day scientific and engineering methodologies weapons made out of stone water management systems architectural intelligence urban based civilized lifestyle industry based trade sectors and many more are standing examples around us and many of us have got unanswered questions within archaeologists scientific scholars geological researchers and many more activists are trying to solve these puzzles even today discussing here and one such finding which is carbon nanotubes So what is a carbon nanotube? Carbon nanotubes are cylindrical molecules that consist of rolled up sheets of single layer carbon atoms which is graphene like they are building block graphene carbon nanotubes are chemically bonded with sp2 bonds an extremely strong form of molecular interaction this feature combined with carbon nanotubes natural inclination to rope together via van der Waals forces provides the opportunity to develop ultra high strength low weight materials that possess highly conductive electrical and thermal properties they can be less than 1 nanometer in diameter that's the speciality so how are these carbon nanotubes made the process currently holds the greatest promise since it allows the production of larger quantities of carbon nanotubes under more easily controllable conditions and at lower cost In this process manufacturers have combined a metal catalyst such as iron with carbon containing reaction gases such as hydrogen or carbon monoxide to form carbon nanotubes on the catalyst inside a high temperature furnace This process is what is called carbon vapor deposition The carbon vapor deposition process can be purely catalytic or plasma supported Plasma supported requires slightly lower temperatures which is 200 to 500 degrees Celsius than the catalytic process which requires up to 750 degrees Celsius of temperature and aims at producing lawn like carbon nanotubes growth. So what are the properties of this carbon nanotubes and how are they used? Apart from their electrical properties which they inherit from graphene Carbon nanotubes also have unique thermal and mechanical properties that make them intriguing for development of new materials. Their mechanical tensile strength can be 400 times than that of steel. It's much much stronger and they are very lightweight. Their destiny is 1/6 of that of steel. Their thermal conductivity is better than that of diamond. and they have a very high aspect ratio greater than 1000 that is in relation to their length they are extremely thin all these properties make carbon nanotubes ideal candidate for electronic devices chemical or electrochemical and biosensors transistors electric electron filled emitters lithium ion batteries white light sources hydrogen storage cells cathode ray tubes and electrostatic discharge and electrical shielding applications that's a wide array of application in itself i guess then what are the prehistoric findings regarding this carbon nanotubes which has hit the news recently so we understood the basics of carbon nanotubes so far but the original discussion and real mystery begins here when we apply the above process and application to an ancient day which is 2000 years before where no electricity was known that is what is making it more interesting But originally in 1991 Sumio Lejima published a groundbreaking paper in Nature Journal and thus introduced a new term carbon nanotubes to the scientific world by delivering a um, deeper knowledge into the history and digging little more regarding the carbon nanotubes it becomes quite apparent that the origin of carbon nanotubes could have even be prehistoric in nature revolutionary findings which is for the past couple of years evidences to prove that the tamil civilization is the cradle of all other civilizations around the world are excavated from keeladi tamil nadu 
Six phases of excavation have conducted around this region and in the sixth excavation, a revolutionary finding has come out, which has left the scientific world completely speechless. Unique black coatings were observed in the inner wall of pottery shreds excavated from Kiliti, Tamil Nadu, India. Raman spectroscopy, transmission electron microscopy and X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy were used to understand the nature of the coating. The analysis revealed the presence of single, multi-walled carbon nanotubes and layered sheets in the coating. The average diameter of single-walled carbon nanotube found to be about 0.6, somewhere between plus or minus 0.05 nanometers. This is the lowest among the single-walled carbon nanotubes reported from the artifacts so far and close to the theoretically predicted value of 0.4 nanometers. These nanomaterials were coated in the potteries that date, dates back to 6th century BC and still retain its stability and adhesion. So there are few questions that arise in us after going through all of this information regarding carbon nanotubes. So the modern day usages of carbon nanotubes were not possible before 2600 years ago. The wide range of potteries excavated from various archaeological sites have its inner side polished with black coating. This needs more investigation and research to showcase our ancestors had deep and broad scientific knowledge from the above properties and findings. Then here are the following questions that we've got in our minds. Under what circumstances this carbon nanotubes were attained? For example, industrial infrastructure or furnace lasts with high temperature, catalysts and its sources, processes, etc. Next thing is, what would be their need or purpose to use carbon nanotubes? Next, what would be the purpose of using carbon nanotubes in pottery? Then, as cytotoxic is one of the property of carbon nanotubes, these potteries were used for edible preparation and preservation, which means it has the poisonous character to living cells and this is used in modern day chemotherapy drugs to kill cancer cells in cancer patients. The next thing is what was the Tamil names for every phase and the overall metallurgic process.